Uh, hi, I'm Ralph Baer. Uh, well, I'm usually known as the inventor of the video game, particularly the console video game business. We built a succession of seven models, the last one of which uh, we called the Brown Box because it was covered by brown and a piece of paper. Then we went on a two-year trek trying to find somebody who would take a license and actually produce something. And that turned out to be Magnavox. This is Odyssey, the new electronic game simulator. You attach Odyssey to your television set in seconds to create a closed-circuit electronic playground. Uh, the Odyssey sold quite well. About 100,000 were sold the first year in 72. By the end of life in 74, 350,000 Odysseys were in homes. Not a bad start, so several million people played uh, video games by then. It's new from Magnavox. <laughs> Odyssey. For the last 30 years I've been toys and, doing, doing toys and games, some of which became quite well known, like Milton Bradley's Simon game, for example. Uh, but uh, by and large, uh, I'm in the same boat as uh, other inventors, you know, we come up with a lot of stuff, spend a lot of time developing and building things and marketing them, and if we're lucky, out of 10 or 15 items we do a year, maybe one or two of them wind up with a licensing agreement. My measure of success is a, isn't a proper uh, explanation of why I do what I do. Uh, first of all, my wife died in 2006. She died on a Friday. On Monday, the President of the United States hung the National Medal of Technology around my head. She didn't make it. So here I am. We built this house 53 years ago. I rattled around in it alone. So what do you expect me to do? All my friends, they're all gone. I've outlived them all. I'll be 90 in March of next year. So what am I going to do? I need a challenge. And I get, still get a big charge of making something work. I write the hardware, I push the button, I download it into the, the microprocessor, and it works. Ah, beautiful. It's, it's like I'm basically an artist. I'm no different from a painter who sits there and loves what he does. I mean, would you ask, ask a guy who's been painting all his life, why do you keep painting? Why don't you retire? Retire to what? I mean, stop painting? I mean, this is insane. I mean, why would you want to do that, right? <laughs> so, here I am.